Welcome back, welcome back to the next episode of HGV Talks. It's a late upload because I completely lost track of days and didn't realize it was Sunday and never recorded the episode for this. So I was thinking about it on like, I don't know, Thursday, probably Friday. I was like, oh, I got to record my you know podcast this week. I've been trying to get back into the schedule of doing it. And then I was just streaming today. I was like, wait, it's Sunday. I didn't do my podcast. So here we are, a little late, but better late than never. Um, I don't even remember what I talked about in the last episode when I was mentioning. Oh, I was talking about fasting. I remember that. I did one. I don't know if I did 24 hours because it was cutting. It was probably close to 24 hours of a fast and didn't really feel like I noticed really that much what it was like because I, I don't know, just didn't really didn't really notice anything I, don't know, I feel like i go pretty long without eating so consistently that like it didn't seem like much of a difference so maybe if i was to do a fast i'd have to prep for it and do like a longer one for me to notice more of a benefit maybe do like a 48 hour one um but i did see perry posted that he's got a master's in nutrition in dietics dietic dietetics what the I don't know what that word is. D-I-E-T-E-T-I-C-S. I've never heard that word before. Diet, dietetics? I am, hold on a second. Diet, to, how is this pronounced? This is a real word. Let me see. Uh, dietetics dietetics that's how i was trying to say it but it didn't i felt like the way i was saying it, it seemed like it was too many syllables but it's dietetics okay i don't know why that word looks so weird to me. i've never heard that word before never heard it i went to school and i did some nutrition class and stuff but i just never heard that word before but uh <laughs> now they've got that out the way um uh yeah he was saying if you needed any info advice you'd be happy to Give it, and I'm honestly, I love taking advice from anybody about pretty much anything. Um, I am always down to just learn from other people. I think it's much easier to learn a lot of stuff if you just listen to other people rather than trying to learn it all on your own. So, the 24 hour fast didn't really feel like my kind of thing. Maybe I just need to get back into just doing like consistent intermittent fasting. You know, maybe that'll be my better thing for me. But um, I've been doing a little bit more working out this week. I've been trying to keep working on my shoulder, which has been good. I've been using like the resistance band I have and just doing some going through motions with it pretty much. And my shoulder's feeling a lot better, much, much better. So that's exciting. Um, I haven't really gotten back into the gym yet, but I've just been doing like a lot of push ups and doing a lot of the band stuff and some body weight squats and whatnot. Um, I did a 5k last week. I think, yeah, that was last week. Uh, we walked it with my grandmother. So it was mother's day and, uh, my grandmother was talking to my sister about, uh, I don't know who brought it up, but some, some came about that there was a 5k on mother's day and my grandma was like, Oh, we should do it. Like me, you know, your mom, then you, and then your daughter, what, four generations all doing it together. And my sister was like, all right, let's do it. Signed her up. My grandma was like, oh, I don't know if I really want to do it, actually. <laughs> so she was, we got it. We convinced her to continue, like, actually do it. She's, you know, walks a bunch. She did great, honestly. She was upset because she ended up in last place. Uh, but to be fair, it wasn't like a huge 5K. A couple hundred people, probably like about 500 people signed up for it. But I mean, if you have been done five Ks and you know those big things, like that's not a ton of people. Um, sometimes with the bigger ones, there'll be a lot. There'll be a lot more people that are walking it. This one wasn't really as many people walking. There was like a big group that walked it. Uh, but we started towards the back because we were walking it, and then you know we started and didn't take long before we were like the last ones in the thing. My grandma was like kind of upset. She was not. She was just kind of like bummed out. She's like, "Oh, we're in last place. Like we're the slowest people on here." I'm like, bro, we got 82 years old. Like, 
there's a lot of people who are watching this because they would be struggling to walk it. Even just three miles. Some people by the end of that would be complaining and hurting. So uh, she was, she was all right though. Now she did it. She, honestly, at the end, she was like, I'm perfectly fine. She was like, I'm not even like that tired. So uh, it was fun. It was good. I, as soon as it started, I definitely did want to start running it. Uh, I hadn't really done any training for it. I haven't been running at all lately, but as soon as that, like, you know, that gun goes off and the run starts, I'm like, oh, I just want to run. I don't want to, I don't want to walk this. I just want to see what I can do, but I haven't been running. So I was like, I'm not even going to sweat it. Uh, my wife did it. My best friend did it. I actually had a lot of friends there that did it. And they liked it. It was a good time. It was at a beachfront restaurant. So right afterwards, we were able to sit there, get some fried scallops and, you know, have a beer or two or something like that. And uh, ended up having a cookout. It was a good day. It was a really good day. Ended up going to sleep at like 7 p.m. Like we, you know, just we were out late the night before we went to level 99, which is this like it's it's like Dave and Buster's. It's like this thing at the mall was a bunch of little like, I don't know, they're like not escape rooms, but it's a bunch of little like puzzles and like physical challenges. Like there's a bunch of different types of them, but if you've heard of it, you know what I'm talking about, but it was really fun. So we did that, but we got home at like almost one in the morning, did the 5k early in the morning, had some drinks and then had like a cookout with my friend afterwards. You know, haven't, we didn't really drink that much, but just having a couple, you know, seltzers or beers or whatever and eating a ton of food and then it was like getting later in the night we had to go home to put the goats away and i literally we walked in the house my wife sat on the couch i went outside put the goats away came in and she was sleeping and then i went and laid in bed like i was just like exhausted i was like i'm gonna lay on the bed passed out immediately i woke up at like 9 30 i didn't even sleep too long maybe it was like nine o'clock and i woke up and it was dark out and i was like man i was like it must be like I looked at the time and it was nine at nine o'clock. I was like, man, it's 9 a.m. right now. And I was like, it's still dark out. Like I woke up in bed and I was like, it's dark out. Why is it nine o'clock and dark? And I was like, wait, it's 9 p.m. I was so lost. It was one of those days like you take a nap and you wake up. And you don't know where you are, what day it is, what time it is. Like so confused. Uh, but still a really good day though, regardless. Mother's Day is always a good one. My mother's birthday is really close to Mother's Day every year too. So I always get her some nice things. Uh, what else this week? What else? Just been watching a lot of the NBA playoffs. Um, went to the driving range with my wife one of these days this week. I think we only went once this week. We went like twice last week. Um, I bought some golf clubs. Uh, found a good deal on Facebook Marketplace. Paid two fifty for some ping. I five green dot irons, I think is what it's called. Um, and there was a tailor made driver with it and some like Titleist, like three woods or something. I don't really know, but that plus everything, you know, it's a really good set. My boy Jiro told me it was a good set and worth the money. So I went and got it. Uh, my wife wants to get a new driver now because hers is cracked. And she just bought like a, you know, cheap set off Facebook marketplace. So she wants to get, a new driver and everything. I think we're going to go actually play golf this week. I think she said Franco has like an early down, I think Tuesday or Wednesday. And we're going to go play a round of golf. So that'll be fun. I've actually played. I've only gone to the range. I've never actually played like a round of golf. So it'd be fun to try out. And yeah, I think this week I'm going to try getting back in. I'm going to start going to the gym again. I'm not going in the mornings. Uh, I've been trying to go in the morning with my friend. I think going with somebody to the gym is a much more valuable use of time in the gym for me, at least. I definitely don't work out as good by myself. But going to the gym at seven, uh, 5 a.m., it's just impossible for my schedule right now. You know, with my wife getting out of work at 1030, you know, it's I'd have to go to bed at like 10 or 1030, like to wake up at five. And if I'm just going to bed when she's just getting home from work. Like I'll end up staying up later and not getting enough sleep. And then it just kind of screws up my whole day. So I got to find a day, well, a time that works for me to go to the gym. Uh, so that's it. I got to 
work on it, figure it out. Um, but yeah, you know, it's been still been doing pretty good doing the shoulder stuff, just working on that's been good. And NBA playoffs, obviously, it's keeping me up late watching all these games. We've got a couple game sevens today. The Knicks game's actually starting like right now. And the T Wolves tonight. Oh, I can't wait. Can't wait for that one. I want to see what time it starts. I'm assuming it's eight o'clock. I don't know why I'm looking it up on my phone when I have a computer right in front of me. T Wolves. They start at 8 p.m. Yep. Uh I really want to see the T Wolves win it. I just I just want I want to see a good game on top of it. I'm above anything else. I want a good basketball game. Uh but I would like to see the Wolves win it. The Mavs game last night was crazy. Um, last night, that was a great game to watch. Mavs pulled it out. Kyrie and Luka, man, that's going to be a good... It's going to be a tough team to get through for anybody. I think if it ends up being Celtics, Knicks, and then T-Wolves, Mavs, I think that'd be a phenomenal finals-like series right there to watch. I hope that's what it ends up as. I hope so. That'd be so dope. Um, I'm potentially going to the Celtics game Tuesday, game one of the next series. Uh, I'm trying to get, um, trying to get tickets for that. I've never gone to a Celtics playoff game. I've gone to a bunch of Celtics games in my lifetime, a lot more when I was younger. Uh, because tickets were a lot cheaper because they weren't as good. But since the Celtics have been better and more competitive over the past few years, it's just so expensive and. It's just, I don't know. I don't like spending like $500, $600 on a night and then the Celtics like either blow out a random team or we start losing and it's a blowout on our end. It's like both suck to watch. And I feel like regular season games are just not as entertaining anymore. I don't know if that's just me. As I got older, they found they become less entertaining, but I've never gone to a playoff game. So I'm excited for that. If we can go... Um, Anything else? Anything else going on? We got the Soul Link starting. Starter selection is up now. Next episode will be on Max Channel. Um, I'm probably going to wait a week or two, and then I'm debating on starting my own run of something. I don't know exactly what. Um, yeah, I think I might do a Breeze Lock. Kind of what I'm feeling. The Emeralds, I don't know, the Emeralds... So uh, Emerald Nuzlocke I did last just kind of, I don't know, for some reason, I think I just played so much of that game on stream that I kind of, I didn't really have as much fun playing it on the YouTube. A lot of people had, hadn't watched the live streams of it, so they thought it was cool, but I don't know, just wasn't really, didn't really, you know, pique my interest playing it for some reason. Gen 3 is not really my favorite, so that's probably why, but. I don't know, we'll figure something out. I'm either debating between doing a Platinum playthrough or a Gen 1 playthrough. Two two options I got right now, so I'm debating between those. But uh, yeah, if you guys got any comments or questions you want to discuss, leave them in the comments as always, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.